Such faith will walk along the path God made. And our Father's spoken, and this life we've chosen will help us follow your plans. And I can't profess that. I understand it, but I see you <laughs> holding your hand. Heaven made your hand to complement my hand, like heaven made my heart to complement your Today is a celebration of one of the most important things, friendship and love. It's God's love that gives us the capacity to love others in a way that is not self-seeking. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? We do. We do. We did rehearse. <laughs> what do I do now? Get out of here. Yeah, don't forget yeah. the hug. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get my hug. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we gather to celebrate your gift of love and its presence among us. We rejoice that Jason and Kaylin have chosen to commit themselves to a life of loving faithfulness to one another. Lord, we praise you for the ways you have touched our lives with loving relationships, and we give thanks for the special love and friendship you have put in their hearts. Enrich our lives with the gracious gift of your love so that we may embrace others with that same love. May our participation in today's celebration of love and commitment give to us a new joy and responsiveness to the relationships that we cherish so much. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You may be seated. <laughs> On behalf of the bride and groom and their families, we want to welcome you here today to an international wedding <laughs> from Malaysia and Taiwan and all those on Facebook Live. Canada. Canada. And Canada. Thank you, yes. And of course, America, right? <laughs> Marriage is a sacred covenant designed by God, and it's the basis of human society, and it should be held in highest honor. We are assembled today with family and friends in the presence of God to join Jason and Kaylin in holy matrimony. Today, we'll witness before God and those assembled here vows and promises with exchanging of rings of the love that you two have chosen. Marriage is God's idea. He gives great care in his word for this relationship, and the basis of it is love. The Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 13 gives us a description of what this love can look like in a marriage. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. A healthy marriage is a contest of patience and generosity. It's a covenant between a man, a woman, and God. It's a celebration of one another's personal value. It's a communication balance of love and truth. It's a commitment to love without an expiration date. And it's a union between two very good forgivers. I remember when the Klein family first moved to Crescent City. I was so excited to have not only Kali come on staff, but our kids, Forrest and Kaylin, in our school. <clears throat> Since grade school, Kaylin has had a deep love for Jesus and a joy to serve always. She's had a heart for missions that was cultivated by her parents, who also love to live on mission for Jesus here and abroad. I was so deeply moved by their desire to go to Taiwan as a family and serve together. Richard and Jesse are here from Taiwan. Yeah. As a Christian school administrator and pastor, it was thrilling to hear the stories of not only mom and dad serving the people in Taiwan, but Kaylin and Forrest as well. While they would return home a couple years, for a couple years, the family would once again take the mission. But upon the return, Kaylin had found a deep love for the people of Taiwan and the Asian culture. After high school graduation, Kaylin and Whitney would return to intern with Richard and Jesse Roberts where the family had served previously. Kaylin was an incredibly talented and skilled young lady, and still are, <laughs> and very passionate for reaching the Asian culture for Christ, and that would continue to grow. The mission field is not easy, being away from family and friends and all the things comfortable. But even though there were dark times, difficult times, Kaylin was inspired to cling to Jesus. Her family, her community, from Crescent City and abroad, through one of those difficult times, Kaylin would be introduced to Jason, and he would help her through that time, and that would take her to Malaysia. <laughs> I remember when she shared about him and could hear the longing in her heart, and I remember the hope that Jesus brought to her through that friendship, and it continues to grow. <laughs> A friendship that would be centered around Jesus and loving the nations for Christ. I am deeply honored and privileged to bring them to this point in their lives to a new journey Today ends one part of your journey and begins another. And I want to remind you both of Psalm 37, verses 4 and 5. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act. <clears throat> Living in this manner in your marriage will build trust between you, and you will find great delight and trust in each other. 
knowing that your lives are committed to him. The Apostle Paul gives more instruction to the description of marriage in Ephesians chapter 5. He says, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is profound, and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church. However, let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. At this time, I'll give you a charge, and if you agree, you'll say, I do. Jason, do you solemnly agree before God and these witnesses to take Kaylin to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Do you promise by the grace of God to love her, even as Christ loved the church, to care for her, comfort her, respect and honor and cherish her, being satisfied with her always, forsaking all others, keeping her in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, for as long as you both shall live. I do. <laughs> Make sure there. Some hesitation there. <laughs> All right, Kaylin. Do you solemnly agree to receive Jason to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Do you promise by the grace of God that you will love him, care for him, comfort, respect, and honor him, being satisfied with him always, keeping him in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him for as long as you both shall live. I do. If you'll hand off your bouquet, and you may hold hands. This time the couple has decided to exchange their own vows. Jason, would you like to go first? Sure. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Kaylin? Yes. <laughs> I love you with all my heart. And uh, I remember asking myself this. So why does Kaylin make me the happiest man alive? So it's quite simple. It's your smile, mm -hmm. your laughter, and the crinkle in the corner of your eye. <laughs> your downright playful humor and the Christ-like selfless love you show to me and to all those around you. It has been exactly 1,410 days since we met, <laughs> and every single day you grace me with your presence has, been, uh, has made me the happiest man on earth. So over the last four years, you've shown me what real love looks like, and I wake up every morning falling more deeply in love with you. Never would I have thought that after four years together that we would have had the opportunity to travel to six different countries around the world, to make new friends from every corner of the world, and to yearn after God's heart for our lives, and now to start a new life as husband and wife. I can say with 100% certainty today that I'm marrying my soulmate. God has been overwhelmingly gracious to me for allowing us to be together all these years. I would think that a love like ours would have many hurdles, distance being one of them. Um, you know, I, and one would be right to say so. I, wouldn't, I couldn't imagine myself all the way from Kuala Lumpur ever meeting the most beautiful Californian girl of my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> but I know, all, I know this, all things work together for good to those that, God, that, the, to those that love God and to them who are called according to His purpose. So these are my promises to you. I promise to be there for you through thick and thin, you know, uh, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. <laughs> I promise to try my best not to be a cranky old man <laughs> in both body and soul. I promise to be the shoulder you can cry on. And I promise to be your biggest fan and supporter, uh, a close second to uh, Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> I promise that laughter and joy will be a commonplace in our household. And I promise to lead a life that we can be proud of. Most, most importantly, I promise to be kind, patient, and forgiving, as one lifetime with you is not enough. <laughs> you are so <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we first met, having this feeling like I've always known you. 
When we talked on the phone, it was so natural, and I felt like I could be myself with you from the get-go. I remember bonding over some of the YouTubers we both watched as teens and our similar taste in music. I thought it was so cool that I could gel so well with someone who grew up in a different part of the world as me. As we began dating, you were so sweet to me in ways like buying flowers and surprising me with a birthday trip to the aquarium in Singapore. But beyond these tangible things, you've shown me a sense of comfort and safety in allowing me to show my emotions without judgment, even if it's just crying when watching The Sound of Music for the hundredth time. <laughs> You've comforted me and stood by my side through the ups and downs of these past four years, through changes in life's direction, pandemic, and even the sickness of loved ones. You've been there for me, and it gives me such peace knowing you'll be there through all the years to come. I promise to be by your side as well through every twist and turn. I choose you for all the adventures and fun of life, as well as the hardships, tragedies, and midlife crises. I promise to continue learning how to better love you, honor you, and champion you towards God's promise, towards God's calling for your life. I will seek to grow in patience and compassion towards you, as you have towards me. And I'll even let you eat some of your own food before asking for a bite. <laughs> <laughs> I want to spend my years, my months, my days, and my moments with you, Jason. I love you like crazy, and I'm incredibly stoked to be your wife. <laughs> <laughs> you. This time the couple is going to exchange rings. <laughs> the ring is an unending circle. It is a symbol of God's unending love for you, and it's a reminder of the vows you have just exchanged. Being patient, growing <laughs> compassion. And it's a sign to the world of the covenant of marriage you have made to each other today. Jason, if you'll put this ringer as an, as an Asian custom, put it on Kaylin's right ring finger and repeat after me. Kaylin. Kaylin, with this ring, with this ring, I pledge my love. I pledge my love. Receive it as a symbol. Receive it as a symbol of my promise to you. Of my promise to you. My faith in God. My faith in God. And my faith in you. And my faith in you. I tried to make that not happen. <laughs> we should have given it to you later. <laughs> Kaylin, go ahead and take this ring and put it on Jason's left ring finger. <clears throat> Repeat after me. Jason, Jason, with this ring, with this ring, I pledge my love. I pledge my love. Receive it as a symbol of my promises to you. Receive it as a symbol of my promises to you. My faith in God. My faith in God. And my faith in you. And my faith in you. At this time, Jason and Kaylin have decided to take communion as the first act of husband and wife to share communion together to represent their life coming together in holy matrimony. The sacrament of the church is a reminder of our need for a savior, for the payment of our sin by the death of Jesus. As a married couple dedicated to following Christ, this is how they want to start. Let's go ahead and move to the table. 1 Corinthians eleven twenty three 23 and 26, Paul speaking, For I received from the Lord what I passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night that he was betrayed, took bread, and when he gave thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, this cup is the new covenant of my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let's take a moment. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the bread. Lord, it's a symbol of your body that was broken for us, broken for Jason, broken for Kilin. May they always have this in their heart. And may that be a posture that they live, that they would humble themselves, Lord, indeed, to serve one another as you have served us. Take this in remembrance of him.
pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you that you have made a way for us to be in relationship with you. And Lord, I pray for Jason and Kaylin today that you would fall afresh up on them, Lord, even today, that your spirit would work in them, that the blood that covers their sin would cover them every day, that they would take the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only to the world, but to their daily lives in their marriage, or that they would allow that blood to cover the sin, that above all, they would love each other deeply, for we know that love covers a multitude of sins. We thank you for your blood in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'll go ahead and have you drink, and then go ahead and give it to Kaylin. Right after this, sure. let's do that and then I'll pray. Okay, we can go first. Okay, I'll let you go first. <laughs> we can move to the front. It's on your phone, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. You want to hand it to me? Yeah. Okay, we'll go ahead and move forward and you guys can face the audience. <laughs> Thank you. This time, the bride and groom would like to present to their parents. We just wanted to say a few words to appreciate um, each of you. First, mom and dad, thank you for showing me what a caring, supportive, and fun marriage looks like since I was young. I'm so grateful for the love that you've poured into me throughout my life that has allowed me to love others fully. It's because of your example that I'm standing here today, ready to make a marriage covenant with someone who loves me for me. And thank you for stepping out of your comfort zone and taking me to Taiwan, where I can meet this <laughs> great man right here. I love you both so much. Mama, Baba, thank you for welcoming me into your home in Malaysia over these last two years and accepting me as a part of the family. I'm so grateful for how we've overcome our cultural differences and bonded over our similarities. Thank you for raising Jason to be the hardworking, sensitive, and fun-loving man that I love. I'm so excited to join in this new adventures to come. Uh, Bob, me. Uh, thank you so much for uh, all that you've done for uh, both Kaylin and I. Um, thank you for um, letting me go to Taiwan and eventually finding a wife. <laughs> uh, so we look forward to... Uh, starting this new life together with uh, you as our parents and uh, just very grateful for all that you've done for us and uh, my new mom and dad <laughs> um, yeah I just want to say thank you for raising Kaylin to be such a wonderful woman um, yeah it's, it's because of you that I get to uh, be here with Kaylin today, and uh, I'm just really grateful that uh, you're uh, letting her marry me. <laughs> so um, thank you so much, mom and dad. Yeah. Let's pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day, and we have witnessed your vows and exchange of rings and pledges, and Lord, lots and lots of love. We thank you for the love that you give to us. We love because you first loved us, and Lord, I pray now for Jason and Kaylin, and that will be the heartbeat that it would continue to be in their hearts for one another, for you, and for those that they come in contact with from here to the ends of the earth, Lord God. Watch over them, keep them. May they look to you always in good times and bad times, trusting you, trusting in your faithfulness in their lives. May we also, this community, watch over them, pray for them, be with them in the good times and the bad, encouraging them always to look to you because you are faithful. Your love is faithful. It never ends. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Now that you, Jason and Kaylin, have consented together in matrimony and pledged your faith and love to each other by the giving and receiving of rings and pledges and commitments, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. I present to you now for the first time, 
you can face them. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Jason, see you. Bride and groom now will be taking pictures with their family. The rest of you, if you would, take your chair and go through that gate right there and find a place at a table, sit, someone, sit next to someone you like, or maybe you don't know them yet, you will like them. Um, there are some refreshments there, some drinks there, and the party will be with us in just a little while. Thanks for coming, guys. Wow, thank you so much, all of you, for coming, our friends and family and neighbors. I really appreciate it. Uh, I know they do too. Um, I'm just hoping I can get through this little blessing toast without the senility kicking in. So if I like pause for a minute and just like stare off into the distant void, um, just because I'm trying to like re kickstart the old think lump. <laughs> it's not that I'm done quite yet. Anyways, I just want to say some nice things about this couple. Uh, I could go on and on and on about Kaylin, of course, because I've lived with her for like 20 years. And um, they've just been amazing special moments. Uh, okay, i got to look at my notes already. But <laughs> here they are. Get up, get up. <laughs> Maybe hearing a parent brag about their child is uh, nauseating. Oh, well, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so here goes. Um, Kaylin has been like the most kind, fun, sweet, precious daughter I could have asked for. I mean, I, I, I could add just like a heaping pile of adjectives onto that sentence right there. And I go on and on and on. But I'm trying to keep the nausea down since you all just eating. And I can't follow Jason with what he said over there. Good gravy. That was amazing. Like, so anyways, she's all that and a bag of chips and stuff. And, but I've just, I've just enjoyed every moment with her and this family. I mean, is that an exaggeration? No, it's not. I mean, sure, there was times when she was crying because she didn't like how mud looked or something, or she was crying because somebody in a movie was wearing an ugly yellow hat. I kid you not, she was crying about this kind of stuff. And, or she was crying because some kid had snot running down their nose. Well, that's understandable. Nobody likes that. I, I cry about that too. It's disgusting. Anyway, she cried about a lot of silly things. And, you know, but she's a sensitive kid. And she's a little huggy cub. And I appreciate that about her. She's sensitive and caring. And um, let me see if there's anything else I was going to say about Kaylin before I move on to Jason. Um, well, I, like I said, I, I could go on and on about her, but... Really, to sum up, it's just been a getting to be a father to her has been like a dream run to me and a forest, too. Silly goose. And as for Jason, well, we go way back and have many great memories. <laughs> like, for instance, um, remember when we shared that uh, fruit and uh, cream cheese dip a couple days ago? <laughs> that was a good memory. You guys remember that, huh? I'll always remember how special and delicious that was. 
Yeah, and uh, you know, just from the start, Jason has been like, I, I've just so admired his kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness to Kalen. And I, I didn't, I never have to coerce that out of him. It wasn't like, a, oh, I'm over here cleaning my shotgun. You better be, you know, I didn't have to do that with Jason, you know? I was a little more subtle. Uh, you ever met my friend here, Little Darlin? Well, it's also known as Little Stabby when she's in a bad mood. But uh, I really didn't even have to do that with Jason. He, he got the point from the get-go that, you know, she's special and, you know, he needs to take care of her, and he does. And, uh, okay, I got one short story to go with this spiel. See if I got to it. Oh, the point I wanted to make is he's a real gentleman. I really appreciate that. That's, that's kind of rare. And uh, I think they're going to have a beautiful marriage and they're going to make beautiful music together. Does that sound awkward? Because I meant it literally. Like he's a really excellent drummer and she can carry a tune on with voice or instruments. Anyhow. Back to the guns and the knives and whatnot, especially the whatnot. So this little short story I got to tell, because it kind of sums up some things. We, me and a few friends, uh, we wanted to go take Jason to shoot some skeet with our shotguns. And uh, he'd never done that before, city boy. But anyways, we took him and uh, it was real fun. And Kaylin was just blasting Clay's apart with her gun. It was good. And after she shattered one, Reed was all, turns to Jason and said, that's your woman. Like that. <laughs> and he said, and he just smiled. He looked all proud. And then Reed said, now go take a cold shower. <laughs> and I had a good idea right then that he, he, man, I could tell that he really loved her because, man, he was having trouble hitting the side of a barn. But he was so happy for her, just blasting those clays away. And it was because he loves her, you know? And, and I, I saw it, and I felt it there. And I was like, all right, that's cool. And we just had a real good time shooting those clay pigeons. And FYI, they taste terrible, by the way. Haunt him. Uh, and so I'm going to end this before I spiel on too long with a a prayer from the Bible, then I want to pray over them. For the Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty Savior. He will take delight in you with gladness. With his love, he will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. For this reason, I kneel before the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives their name. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or even imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now it's hugging, hugging time again. Derek didn't have a glass. <laughs> to Jason and Caleb. All right, I think um, Whitney, the maid of honor, has something that she would like to say. Let's hear it for Whitney. All right. I uh, tried to remember to bring my glass with me, and I also was holding out on wearing a sweater. 
but I decided since the sun was setting, it was a good time as any. Um, yeah, thank you all for coming out tonight and celebrating Caitlin and Jason. I think they're pretty swell. <laughs> uh, thank the clients and the Sioux for hosting this event too. You guys have put a lot of work in and we're super blessed by it. Um, and Robert and Jenny Westerman, my parents were opening up their home. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to say congratulations and that I love you both. And this is just super special. I um, have known Kaylin for the past, I think, 15 years. Um, I was trying to do the math when I was writing my little spiel. And I think we met when I was in fourth grade. And slowly God began to just kind of do this crazy thing and give me a best friend out of it and I've been super blessed by you Kaylin um God's grown us up and helped us do missions and um I think Jason I've known since fall of 2018 uh when we were in Taiwan um <laughs> he was one of my students and I remember uh Kaylin came up to visit us uh one time um, and uh, gosh they hit it off real quick and I was asked um, to kindly remind them that there's no dating in Bible school and y'all weren't allowed to do that <laughs> but <laughs> that uh, my little conversation did not keep them from talking often or deeply and intently and I'm super excited they didn't stop that <laughs> and when Kaylin was told me oh I think we're gonna go and do bible school together I was like okay I can't say no <laughs> but I've been super blessed to see what God has done in and through you so all that being said I just want to raise a toast to the bride and groom may God continue just to keep you guys together as you grow a home and a family and each other to Kaylin and Jason all right, I asked Kaylin permission beforehand, but she said it was okay if anyone out there wants to offer a toast. Now is the time for an open mic, which is always a dangerous thing, but here comes one now. All right. <laughs> Hey, what's up, party? I'm Alex. <laughs> Known Kaylin since I don't know. This I don't have a lot of memories that don't have you in it, honestly. Like I feel like my memories kind of started like when I started going to Foursquare and like we met. Uh, first time I met Jason, though, I thought, what a weirdo. <laughs> not not in like a negative way, but in, in my kind of way. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, congratulations to you both. Uh, you, you guys have, uh, well, I feel like after, like, after high school, we didn't have, like, a whole lot of interactions or content or contact with each other, and, and, like, I've just sort of been, like, off on the sidelines, like, watching you, and you've literally been, like, superheroes for God in, in, in my vision, and, and, and I'm really grateful that you guys are, like, in my life again, and that we can, like, hang out and be friends, and I get to hear about all of the wonderful freaking adventures that you've been on, and, and, I uh, <laughs> seeing, seeing you guys grow into what you are now has been remarkable and amazing and I love you guys <laughs> and, I, and like I'm still still getting to know Jason I've only hung out with you I guess a handful of times but like each time I get I like I get get uh, hang out with you and uh, I love you Jason <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are amazing and I, I really look forward to seeing all of the adventures that you continue to go on. And I hope to go on some adventures with you as well. Uh, you guys are, again, literally superheroes. And I don't know. 
you rock. <laughs> and thanks for getting married, because that's pretty cool, too. So now, now we can be married together. I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think that, that's all. I love you guys. You guys are cool. Really cool. <laughs> Cheers to the newlyweds. All right, who's next? Come take this microphone away from me. <laughs> oh, God. Here comes the card. <laughs> so when I walked down the parkway, the driveway, I was already crying. So <laughs> if I don't make it through this conversation or speech or just a chat, I met Kaylin when they were, she was little. She used to come over and babysit my kids, and my girls just loved hanging out with her. Aiden enjoyed hanging out with her. And But the biggest blessing Kaylin's got to bless me with is um, she asked me to teach her how to sing. She already knew how to sing. She already had an amazing voice, but... Um, I'm not really shy to sing, and if anybody knows me, I love to belt <laughs> a good karaoke song. And so Kaylin and I, um, I was blessed with about a year of gathering with Kaylin um, once or twice a week in the sanctuary. And um, just giving her any tool I have to just um, hone her own gift and her own skill. And um, little did I know the real blessing was that she's really blessed me. So while she thought I was pouring into her, she really poured into me. And I think that's one of the beautiful things about you, Kaylin, is you continue to teach adults. And I just, I think that's something so beautiful about you. And you continue to just pour into people. Um, so cheers. I don't have a glass of anything, but you all do. So cheers to Kaylin and her new adventure. Cheers. And she has an amazing voice and she needs to keep making her videos on Facebook. A Amen. Amen. Which is actually a great segue. Kaylin has actually offered to sing us a song. <laughs> uh, anyone else? We have time for a couple more. Sure, Aaron, come on down. First of all, first of all, I'm not going to. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm. So, I've known Kaylin for a long time. I don't really even know how long, but you all know. Um, <laughs> however, I mean, she's always been very precious to me, and I've watched her grow up. And when she decided to go on her mission, her loan mission, um, to, to Taiwan, um, she came in front of the church. And the church prayed for her, and I had my eyes closed. And while I was praying for her, I was overcome with butterflies in my stomach and that feel of first love. And, and that's not even what I was praying for her at the time, but I was so overwhelmed by it. And I saw a vision of Jason. <laughs> Um, I didn't know Jason at the time, but he was an Asian man, and I was, I was like taken aback. I was totally distracted by what I was praying for her. I was just like, oh my gosh, like, is, is this my emotions, or is this really going to happen? And then she went over there, and, you know, nothing, nothing really happened. She came back, and then when she went back and started dating Jason, I was like, oh my gosh, it's happening. Like, that was true, what I thought. <laughs> So I just wanted to say these these two are destined to be together. And I was so excited the first time I met Jason. And I felt like I already knew you. So. <laughs> to Jason again. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, anyone else? Forest. I've been waiting. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, this is loud. I don't like that. Um, first off, I'm probably not going to drink this because wine is terrible, I've now discovered. Um, but I just wanted to say a few words about my sister and my new brother-in-law. Glad to have you in the family. Um, I know I've said probably some negative things about both of you, but I want you guys to know that I love you guys both very much, and I'm very proud of both of you. I'm no, Proud is a weird thing to say as a younger brother, but, like, I am. And you guys have done a lot of great things. Very um, and I know I should probably say like the usual brother thing of oh you don't hurt her but it's probably more likely that she'll she'll hurt you but <laughs> well, well nobody hurt anyone is probably the best so <laughs> love both of you guys and Jason and Kayla yeah. <laughs> all right Anyone else? You guys are all just thinking, when's the pie? <laughs> Let's dance, yeah. You gotta have pie first. Oh, JD, come on down. So, um, Whitney, um, I'm Whitney's mom, and um, as Whitney said, her and Kaylin have been friends since about fourth grade, and just the special bond that those two have formed over the years, I've been really blessed by their friendship. Kaylin is an extreme extrovert, as you know. Whitney's super quiet and shy. So I've watched the Lord really do some amazing things through their friendship. You know, God does the balance, you know, as thank goodness we have him as our Lord because he, you know, he takes our differences. And when we appreciate those in one another. I've seen God grow both of them so much through the years. And I just love Kaylin. She calls me second mom sometimes. So I love her as a daughter. And I'm super excited for her and Jason in the life. You know, they're going to build together. I know the Lord is going to bless you tremendously. You guys mean so much to us and to our family. And um, the thing about the wedding. <laughs> so Kaylin used to come here playing when we were little. And she must have said a half a dozen times, when I get married, I want to get married in your yard. <laughs> so um, when she called me and asked, it was no surprise. And it, it really has been a blessing to host you guys' wedding here. I mean, all while we were doing all the work, we are like, hey, let's get married in our yard. So we we're super <laughs> excited about it. And I love you guys so much. And to Kaylin and Jason. <laughs> No, no, stay 
to the dance grass. We are going to cut a little rug here. I got gotcha. you. I know. Hey, before they go, I think we should fix it. Yeah, please do. We need to be like, we're like serving. Let's just create, so like hold hands with the person next to you for a second. And then we'll create like a long line. So it seems like. It seems like the arc is where it starts curving. Do you want to straight on? Yeah. Why would I do that? 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 Why Perfect. Yep, there it is. Love it. Yep. Okay. All right, everybody. <laughs> All right. Are we lighting? Are we lighting? Great. Yeah, go ahead. 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 Yeah, go